Okay, question three. So it's coordinate geometry question. Uh, so the coordinate, ge coordinate diagram below shows part of the N22 road in County Cork. Two of the points on the road, P and Q, are marked on the diagram. Uh, part A, the point Q, which is this one here, has coordinate 6, 2. Write down the coordinates of the other ones. So it's just asking you to, to read the, um, the diagram here. So the point is right there. That's what they're asking you to read. So if you take the x-axis reading on it, it's minus one. And the y-axis, it's positive three. So the answer to that part is minus one and three. Second part, the equation of the line PQ, which is the line we were just talking about, um, is as follows. Uh, using this or otherwise find coordinates at the point where PQ crosses the y-axis. Okay, so this is where, so if you have that line there, let's use the road, which is basically a straight line. So it's there approximately. Uh, find the coordinates where PQ, so how do you do that? So uh, PQ crosses the y-axis <coughs> when x is zero. So you use this formula and set x to zero. <clears throat> uh, to work out the intersection of the y-axis. Sorry, I've put in two there, that should be uh, zero. <clears throat> so by doing that then, it's going to be 0 plus 2y is equal to 20. Uh, so 2y is equal to 20. Sorry. That's a 7. So y is equal to 20 over 7 which is 2.857142 recurring. Uh, we'll bring that up to 2.86. So going back to the diagram, you can see it's between, it's certainly over two and a half. It's, it's closer to, to three, so it's 2.86. So that's the answer there. So we're gonna put in zero for the x and 2.86 for the y. So that's what we wanted to do on that one. So part C, a new road is being built through point Q, 6, 2. So that's 6, 2, which is already there. So that's point Q. So there's a new road being built there. Um, on the coordinate diagram, it will be a straight line per which is perpendicular to PQ, okay? So it's a 90 degree angle to uh, the line PQ. Work out the equation of this new road. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Okay, so we should write down what the equation for PQ is. So that is x plus 7y, and they've given us this, equals 20. So let's find the slope of that, because this one is perpendicular to it. So if I find the slope of PQ, and this one is perpendicular, I'll be able to invert that and get the slope of the new line. Okay. So let's set this up right. So let's get uh, y by itself. So 7y subtract x from both sides plus 20. Divide across by 7 uh, to get y by itself. So that's going to be minus 17x 
plus 20 over 7. So the slope of this then is, of course, so the slope here then is this one because this is m y is equal to m x plus c. So m in this case is this lad here. So the slope, uh, so p q slope is minus one over seven. Therefore, the new line, I'm going to call it NL for new line. New line NL slope is the inverse of that, which is 7, positive 7. So it's 7 over 1, and it's positive. Right, and then to actually work out the equation for that, then I'm going to use the formula. So y minus y1 equals m outside of m x minus x1 and plug in my value. So y minus 2 is equal because I've been told the two points here. So this is x1, y1. So I've been told or I know that the slope is 7, positive 7. So it's 7 outside of x minus 6. Uh, simplifying that. Sorry, keep that a bit tight here. Uh, so y minus 2 equals 7x minus 42. y is equal to 7x uh, plus the 2, bringing it across. So that's going to be minus 40. So the equation then is 7x minus y minus 40 equals zero. For the equation of the line nu L as I've called. Okay, last part, D. Uh, the distance of the line PQ on the diagram is 7.1 centimeters correct to one decimal place. Five millimeters on the diagram represents 100 meters. So let's just go back and look at it. So PQ, that line is 7.1 centimeters. Um, correct to one point to one decimal place. Five millimeters on the diagram represents 100 meters. So one centimeter is 10 millimeters. Uh, so that means that 7.1 centimeters is 77 millimeters. Okay, now five millimeters on the diagram represents 100 meters. So let's work out how many 100 meter stretches are there. So we know that the full amount of it is 77 millimeters. So 77 divided by five will tell us how many stretches or how many legs of 100 meters long uh, we have. Uh, so if I divide 5 into that, I'm going to get 14.2. So that's basically units uh, of 100 meters. So now I want to multiply that by 100 meters. Uh, and if I do that, I'm going to get 1.42 kilometers. Okay, so that's the actual distance um, in kilometers.